Hello, this is Zachary Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a video on a great application I think many different people can benefit off of. It's called AMP WinOff. This is a great Windows utility. It's made for shutting down your computer, so you can set it for many different ways of shutting it down. So no user activity, no network activity, no CPU activity, many different ways of enabling it to shut down your computer. So it's a great application. I suggest trying it out. If you go to the download link below, you can go to the link right here. And then from right here, just click the installer button. It will bring up the installer. And then you can go ahead and install the application. So click OK. And then I agree. And then click Next and install. You can then go ahead in the next menu, you can run the application. So like I said before, this is an application for shutting down your computer. So there's many different ways. Um, so I'll show you guys basically all of the ways you can shut your computer off. So in the shutdown planning area, this is our main screen, I guess you'd say. So at the bottom here, we have different shutdown types. So we have simple power off, um, closed session, sleep, hibernate, lock, and restart. Or we have administration, shutdown, and restart. So click the one that you want. Um, power off is the default one unless you select a different one. Then you can go ahead to the shutdown planning and choose the one you, you prefer. So we have date and time. So what you can do is um, a certain date if you want. So a certain day and then give the time. Or you can just do a certain um, time. So you can go you know, in, in an hour, in two hours, a simple timer. In the interval section, we have after a certain period of time. So we could have every 15 minutes the computer shut down, or we could have every day it shuts down, or every two days. So if you forget it, then it's just going to shut down. We also have user activity. So if we have no input for five minutes, the computer will shut down. So which you that's good because now you know you set it for like three hours maybe, and what will happen is if no one's using the computer for three hours it will just shut off. CPU load can be useful if you're doing something like a rendering and what happens is you know you want it to shut down when, it, when it's done. If the application doesn't support that then what you do is just do this. So it tells you your current CPU load I, I'm, re I'm currently recording so my CPU load is a bit higher than average for me so it's at five, about 5% five so I can do click the average and it records it for about five seconds and then chooses the average. So what happens is once the CPU um, drops low, it will shut down. So you can set it manually. It warns you when it gets a little high because if it is high then obviously it's going to shut down when you're doing something important. Next is ne network transfer. So this is good if you have um, if you're downloading a torrent. What you can do is choose a certain transfer, and then let's say your, your computer downloads at you know 100 KB per second. Then you'll want to set it down to a certain one to uh, to a point that when it's done downloading, it drops below that one, and then it will automatically turn off. And what you do is you have it for five minutes. So what it means is it's going to sit there for five minutes, make sure it stays below that area for five minutes, and then it shuts down. If you set it for like five seconds, if your download drops low for a couple seconds, then you could be shutting your computer off in the middle of a download. So those are all the options it has for shutdown planning. And then general options here, we have uh, other options like load on Windows startup, auto save settings. These are more of the programs. Um, app settings. So we have shutdown sequence which allows us to change what happens execute a program before it shut down so we can have something happen before. You can have a screenshot taken of the desktop before it shut down which is useful because you know so you want to make sure what you did finished you can have a picture of it. And in the administration options we have password protection so that you know you know, password or anything like that. 
and you can have a message to the user which will happen um, like a minute before your administrator shutdown that way if someone on a different account is using the computer it will actually still shut down anyway though that's about it for this program it's a pretty cool application I suggest checking it out it's very useful for anyone who downloads torrents overnight and you don't want to leave your computer on overnight because even me I have a really nice computer but I do not leave it on overnight I actually even unplug it from the wall so it's a great keeping your computer off when you're not using it is a great way to you know keep the longevity of it so having this application shut down it shut it down when it's on doing something is a great way of saving your computer anyways guys that's about it for this video hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a like and if you have any questions comments or concerns you can also leave them below and besides that happy hacking and i hope you enjoy the program this is the hacker 007 and i'm signing off